Namaste friends. Today we are going to learn about UiPath try catch finally. So what is the use of try? What is the use of catch? What is the use of finally block? All of this we have to get an entire understanding because this is very very important while you are building a project to handle errors in UiPath. Okay? So let's get started and learn UiPath try catch catch and finally block. Myself Rakesh from Xpop channel. In case you feel good about this video please like and also do subscribe to our channel. We have got the entire playlist for you which could help you to learn on lot many topics in a conceptual way which would give you a long term concept and that's why we have created playlist. Please go with the playlist and hope this is going to help you. So with that let's get back to our topic which is try catch block. Now for this I am going to use a very simple activity and going to show you and teach you about try catch block. So for this what you do if I ask you to read an excel file. So what you will do you will use an activity called read range right and right now you will have two different activities. One is with excel the other one is with workbook. So go with read range activity under workbook okay because this is what will help you to understand the try catch block in this video. So I am using the workbook read range activity. Now next thing it is asking me to select that specific file. So let me go ahead and select this specific file. So this is the file I have selected. So if you simply run this and before that try to open that particular file. So your file is open and this is the activity you are using and you want to read the data to a data table called control plus k and I am going to say dt. Okay, so you are reading that. All your job is to read this excel file. But what is happening knowingly you are keeping the file open. So you must know while using a read range activity under the workbook right. It is a workbook read range activity. If the excel file is open in the background it is going to throw an error. Okay, so if I run this you will see it is going to throw an error. So how to handle that? So try that is why I am using a read range activity from workbook just to demonstrate. So you can see if I click on continue it has already thrown me an error. Okay, So this is the error which is coming. Now mind the error. What the error is saying? The error is saying system.io.io exception input output exception. So this is the exception we have to handle using try catch block. So let me show you. So let me click on OK and we remember that error what kind of error it has come and here what I am going to do this activity is getting an error. So in your project whichever activity is throwing an error you need to handle that. So what I am going to do I am going to right click this and here I have something called surround with try catch block. So that is how you will be using try catch block. So this is done. Now just just after doing this so just after doing this I need to handle that particular error. So I will go to this catch block and I am going to click, click, click here add new catch okay I'm going to click here the moment you click it is going to give you a drop down and here I know what is that specific error because just now I saw it so I know what kind of error it is throwing so system.io.io exception I have selected that so once you select right once you have selected so what would happen the now if you simply run so I'm not doing any activity I've not added any activity simply said surrounded that activity with try catch block and in the catch section I have put IO exception. I have just selected that. Now just see if I you can see in my background the excel file is still open. Okay. So now what I am going to do for experiment purpose I am going to run it again. So just to see if the error is still thrown or it is not thrown. So what is what is the answer? Okay. So the answer is now the error is not thrown. You can see that right. It, it, it was able to handle that error. But did it do your job? No, it did not do your job, right? You wanted to read something from that. So it will not, it will just handle it. It has not thrown that error to you, but it did not handle it uh, completely, right? So what I am going to do, if in your read range activity, if an Excel file is open, what you want to do? You want to close that, right? So what we will do, we will go here in the catch section itself. Once that error is caught, if the Excel file is open, then I want this Excel file to be closed. Okay, so now you can see it is there opened in my background. Now what I am going to do, I am going to run it now. So I am going step by step. So you also try this. So I am going to run it. So if I run this, this excel file which is currently open, 
will be automatically closed because of the try catch block so you can see it it has closed that so now it has handled it has handled that if this error happens if i'm reading this excel file and if this error happens that means the excel file is open so i have to close it so i have closed that excel file now so i have handled it now in the finally section what i want to do let's say it it went through that error it closed the application now next thing you what you want to do you want to read that right whatever you wanted to do in the try try block right you wanted to read that you want to read that excel file okay so there is a condition what if the excel file is already closed so you don't have to don't have to read that right so for this in the finally block you click on the finally block and add an activity if activity so here what i am doing in case when i am running the project let's say the excel file is not closed i mean if the excel file is open then it will be handled by the catch block and in the catch block it's going to close it okay now let's say the excel file is not open it's already closed it's it's already closed it's not open so then what will happen there will be no exception because it will read the data so it will read the data so what you have to do in the finally section remember the finally section runs every time so in the try catch block in the finally section whatever activity you are going to put it is going to anyways run so remember this to put a condition so what condition i am putting here i am saying dt is nothing only if the data table is nothing so nothing means in the try catch block it was not able to read it thrown an exception so the data, data table is nothing only then i'll come to finally section only then you read so all i will do is i'll go to the try block i'll copy this activity go to the finally and paste it over here okay so i'm putting a condition so remember in the try catch finally block the finally block will always run so you have to ensure if you want to do the same thing what you are doing in the try so ensure you put a condition so here i am putting a condition dt is nothing your data table is nothing then only you read if data is something means there was in the try block it has already run so you don't have to go through the so that's why you have to put a condition so remember many people will not put a condition and they will go um, you know why why uh, i have to what i have to put in finally so they will be completely confused uh, confused themselves what to do so remember when using finally you have to ensure because finally block will run all the time if you don't put an activity also it will run so if you put an activity also that activity will run so ensure if you put a condition like this now you know only if the try block did not run right it will go to catch section it will close that excel file then it will come to finally section and it will see dt is nothing then only it will read if in the try block the excel file is already closed so it will try block will execute because there is no error so your catch block will not execute and here you have mentioned a condition dt is nothing so dt is something because try block has run then it so nothing going to happen because in the else activity i have not put anything so are you i hope uh, you know i have what i am trying to explain you got the concept right how the try catch and finally works okay if not please try to uh, you know see the video once again from the beginning you will get to understand what is try catch block and do along with me whatever i have done the same thing you try to do on your own and i hope this is going to give you the concept of try catch finally i hope if this video is helping please do click on the like button do not forget and please do subscribe to our channel okay because we bring a lot of conceptual knowledge uh, which would help you in your ui path rpa journey thank you so much guys you guys have a great day bye bye